as you've probably already noticed by now, uh, LinkedIn just finished doing a major overhaul of their user interface. Um, so things look completely different. They completely changed all the code um, on the front end in terms of how the, the website operates and looks. Uh, and so as such, we have updated our Chrome plugin so that you can quickly parse resumes from Excelair um, from LinkedIn. So what I'm going to do is um, go over some search results that I just brought up. Let's click on this candidate right here. And when I do, you'll notice that it, it brings the candidate profile up, and you'll see a little button here. It says, please wait. And then it changes. It says, import to Excelair. So this is a button that we inject onto the page um, using our Chrome plugin. And this button will actually change depending on whether or not this candidate already exists in your database or not. Um, I know that this candidate does not already exist in my database because the button says, import to Excelair. Uh, it would say open or update in Excelair if the candidate was already in the database. So let's go ahead and just click um, import to Excelair. When I, I do, you see it says processing, and now the button changes to open or update in Excelair. So if I'd like to open up this candidate, um, I can just click the open button, and it's going to open that candidate directly in Excelair and show me the details that um, was parsed in for this candidate. You can see source information and, uh, you know, different data about her employment and skills, uh, more employment, education, history, that kind of thing. All right. So coming back to my search, let's go ahead and hit the back button. And let's see if we can find a candidate that is already in our database. I'm going to click on this one right here. And you'll say again, it says, please wait. And the button already says open or update next layer. So this means that this candidate is already in our database. So I have two or three options here. I could just say open to open up the profile in Excelair and review the details. Or I could say update in Excelair, meaning it's going to automatically update this candidate with the most re recent information, or it'll kind of override certain details. Or I could choose advanced update in Excelair. If I do this, it's going to open up a window that's probably familiar to most. Um, let me maximize this. So what it's doing is it, it's showing the details of the candidate profile on the left. And it's also showing you the different fields that it's parsing in from this candidate's profile right now. Details like where they work, contact information, et cetera. When I click Next, it's going to do a comparison between the duplicate record already in the database and what we're parsing in. So this is what we're parsing right now. You'll see that these, uh, the company name is different than what we already have in the database. Uh, same with the, uh, the job title is slightly different. Uh, compared to what we already have in the database. So I've just selected the two uh, fields that have changed, and I'm going to merge the candidate with the existing candidate instead of creating a duplicate, and I'm going to click Next. And then this last step, if I'd like to, I could link the candidate as either potential or receive to any of my jobs that I'm working on here. So if I wanted to, I could link her to this user experience designer position as a received candidate and hit Finish. And so now I've effectively updated the Canada in my Excelair database without creating a duplicate record. <clears throat> we hope you have fun with this. If you don't already have this plugin installed, go to the Chrome store, search for Excelair, and uh, you'll find the, uh, the extension. You can uh, install it right into your Chrome browser, log in through Excelair, and uh, start parsing in profiles from LinkedIn. Thanks so much.